I think there's a lot of things, if, if I had the power to change curriculum, I think one of the most important things we're missing is money. Money management. 100%. It's a social. Oh, And, and touching on um, teaching kids the real uh, things that they'll actually use in the real world, mm. there should be more courses like coding or... or, mm. or um, what, what's the other Contro one? Controversial. Programming. I want to be controversial again. Go on. Hit me, I like controversy. I think there's a lot of things, if, if I had the power to change curriculum, I think one of the most important things we're missing is money. Money management. 100%. Mm. I think... I we spoke to, about this, didn't we? Yeah, I went to. I was invited to a talk where uh, Martin Lewis. Uh, Name drop. Uh, Come on, Martin Lewis, money saving expert. You're right. <laughs> he's, he's having a fit. No, he's, 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 he's speaking again. I absolutely love him. Big, worth big. about two hundred and fifty million mm. pound. Mm. Um, big in the game, and he basically. I can't remember who was there, but there was somebody from the education department. Yeah. yeah. And it was really exclusive. I was quite lucky, but you know, so you know, Carl, you're more for coming along with us. I was like, mm. <laughs> I'm living boy from Barking, you know. Um, <laughs> never face. <laughs> never face. <laughs> never face. Yeah. Keep on back. Keep on back. Keep on back. Keep on back. Yeah, you see me, yeah. Um, so I went there and it was with a lot of um, the people that were invited were like mm. senior leadership of schools, mm. headmasters, governors, and whatnot. So I was really, really privileged to be invited. And what, and I, I showed you some of this. Yeah, Remember, I showed you, I took a video yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. And Martin Lewis was like, he basically, I didn't even notice, he, in 2016, 2017, he made his own money textbook. Mm. And he cost him 375 uh, uh, thousand awesome, pounds. Yeah. yeah. And he took it out of his own pocket. It's called Money Matters. Money Matters. Big book. Big book. Name drop, come on. Nice. Big book. Get it, <laughs> guys, you know get it for your kids. Get it for your kids. Any, anybody that's listening, for go and buy that book. And he broke it all down. Yeah. And he said, why? And he was quite angry because he said he directed this at the guy from education. He goes, I've been talking about this for five years. Mm. I went to you. I gave you everything. Why, as me as a private individual, do I have to dip into my own pocket mm. to talk about something that's education? Why are we not teaching money? And he was basically explaining money is, you know, a, a major factor in people's lives. People kill themselves over money. People divorce over money. Money, you know, and, and the lack of management. Mm. And he gave an interesting statistic because even if you worked in like a low paid job or minimum wage job, in your lifetime, if you had just say 23, 24 thousand pounds, in your lifetime, you would earn a million pound. Mm. In your lifetime, if you counted all your salaries, mm. right? Mm. So it's not a case of, you know, because we live in, he, he said we live in the fourth biggest economy in the world and how can we have poverty For here? For real. Because there's a case of money management. So I think if, again, I was education secretary, that has to be put top, on top. top it top, has top, to top. be. And I'm not disrespecting any other um, subjects, okay. nah. but money management, come on. When you guys went for mortgages and all that, did you know what you were doing? No, no, no. You no, just no. found out as you I went along. Yeah. <laughs> that, that book you're talking about, I mean, we I, we flicked through it together. Yeah, and we, yeah. we saw some things that we were like, I didn't even know that. I don't even know that. I, 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 RPI, I, I, APR, I, 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 all this stuff was it. uh, But why are we not teaching our kids? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, I've said this, so, you know, maybe to, we're coming to the end, but, you know, these are, looking on the horizon, mm. these are mm. avenues. And I think just, it was, one of your guests was talking about this. Yado, mm. he was saying about he wanted to go into football academy. Yeah, teach yeah. academy yeah. should teach mortgage and financial management. It's true. Not it's only good. not only academies, we need to be teaching this across the board. Mm. So that is an area that I'm very very intrigued by because if you do not look, if you come from a family with you know, and you I don't want to use the word poor. You're in mm. so you you're going through socioeconomic struggles, mm. okay? Or you're going through economic struggles. Mm. How are you going to propel them if the if all they've seen about them is drug dealers or criminals. In fact, let me let me say a story real quick. When I was towards the end of my tenure as a, a, a NEETS coordinator, there was one boy, let's just call him John, I won't give his mm. real name. John was a drug dealer, notorious in the area. We mm. all knew he was shot him. But again, the police, we, 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 we were involved with the police as well, mm. um, yacht team, which is Youth Offending Services. And you know, I was working with him, I was working for about two years, trying to get him on the straight and narrow. And I remember I sat down with him, like I'm sitting down with you guys, yeah. and I said, you know, listen, John, you've got to change your life, bruv. Mm. You're destroying people. I sat this conversation, you're destroying people's lives, bruv. When you're shutting that stuff, you, you know, these wrecking people's lives. F you know, think about it, he's like, nah, I'm not going to change. I'm just doing this. So basically, it was a mandatory, what called a mandatory order. He had to come to our centre, mm -hmm. otherwise he was just basically going to get arrested. He was, he was, he didn't want to come. He was forced mm -hmm. to come. But me and him got on, and I said, John, listen to me. You know, you're always going to be watching over your shoulder for the rest of your life. Every day you wake up, you don't know if it's your last day or not. Mm -hmm. And you know, think about it. And he goes, what to end up like people like you? And he goes, all right, let me break a story down. He goes, they've taken away the EMA, mm -hmm. right? 
uni costs nine grand a year. Mm. My brother went to uni and that, but he works at, he, he worked like in retail. Mm. It, I won't name, mention the name, but he works in a sports shop, but he's got 20 grand worth of debt and he can't find a job because no one gave him the experience. We don't know anybody. I live in a council flat and whatnot because I make a grand a day. I make 500 to a grand a day. I can look after my mum. Mm. I can look after him. I'm paying for everything. So you mm. want me to give all that up to get myself in 20 grand worth of debt and what, earn um, 200 pounds? This is it. This is it. And I, I, remember, I remember sitting there, he left the room and I was actually quite, not emotional, but I was like, that's how, wow.